Yeah, just go to see it like this and uh, have my wife looking at me thinking this guy has absolutely lost the plot, which I, which I probably have. You know, people kind of take a step back and say, well, hang on a minute, has this guy completely lost the plot? You know, this is just not normal. But I can tell you the day I bought that bike, I, I did three or four hours and I, you know, bonked. And I just thought, this is so fun. This is a great feeling. For me, certainly, I found it interesting, something I, I was really passionate about, something I enjoyed. Um, I had the possibility to do it. So I kind of thought to myself, why not? You know, and chase a dream. Try and be, be someone different or do something different. And it was when I, uh, we had our second child that I took some time off work, you know, for paternity leave, and I never went back. The training I was doing, I was probably riding 25, 30 hours a week. Every week. That first year I rode something like 27, 28,000 miles, I think. And then in terms of the bikes, I've sold, like I said, I sold the Pinarellos because they're just, uh, I don't really need that many bikes now, so I've just got this one, but I really like this. I raced on this towards the end of the year. This is the new Trek Madone, and the old Trek Madone had the brakes on the front. This is a rim brake one. I didn't get the disc because it's like half a kilo heavier um, for no aerodynamic gain, so yeah, I wouldn't race on it. I uh, know that these are Kogel, Kogel bearings in the bottom bracket, Kogel bearings in the wheels, which are fantastic. Uh, I actually think they're better than ceramic speed because they, they don't use uh, washers, um, so they, they just spin a little better. I've got a whole set here as well. These are to go on some wheels. And then of course this, the, the canyon I've kitted out yeah. fully with ceramics as well. You know, it does make a difference. It feels nicer as well, which, uh, which is really important. So this is, this is where I do a lot of my training. Um, obviously it's great with the Zwift and the, the TV. And then I've got the sound system here that's all linked up. Air conditioning through the, um, through the roof, which is operated in the other room. And then I've got a second air conditioning unit just that I put on my face to stay cool. You know, people think, oh, he thinks he can just come into the sport. And you feel that, you, you know, it's not difficult to feel it. People think you can just come in and do what you like, but I really didn't, certainly didn't have that attitude. And people have warmed to me since. And again, you can feel that people now actually respect what you've done or, you know, haven't done as it, as it were. The day that I signed with OnePro, I remember going to the service course. I remember the DS at the time, he was on the phone, you know, doing my position on the bike and he said, oh, you're quite broad and stuff. And I just overheard that, it just takes something to click, right? Yeah, from then I, I was like, right, I'll, sh I'll show them how thin I can get. Not, not that they, and they never, you know, this is all me, right? This is no, they'd never asked me to get thin or, I was like, right, I'm gonna show them how thin I can get. I found a strategic way to not ever feel tired uh, log my food and reduce weight every day and that was just logging it absolutely everything and cutting it by cutting the calories by 500 a day i just did that every day until i got to next to no body fat i went for a dexa scan before i had the dexa scan with one pro just to see where i was at and the guy said to me there listen you're going to start losing you know normal bodily function soon because i was so thin You know, everyone's got to push their own bike at the same time, whether you've got teammates or not. So I wouldn't say not having a team was necessarily that much of a disadvantage. I, I was probably more at an advantage by not having them because I didn't have to work for anyone else, I would argue, or ride for anyone else, or close gaps for anyone else or myself. Actually, I, I attacked and got about 10 seconds into that corner, um, took the left into the tailwind, and I was like, right, I've got 10 seconds here. Might as well just commit. And I looked back and they weren't really getting organized. And five got off the front of that group that were effectively chasing me, but everyone wants to win themselves, so they're all gonna be soft pedaling. And once I'm 
holding a constant power. It's, you know, they, uh, to bring back, you know, 30, 40 seconds becomes quite difficult. What people didn't know, or, or they should have known, is that I've been full, full time for a couple of years and I can push the pedals when I'm pushing the wind by myself. Um, so I've granted a little bit of leeway, maybe underestimated, but yeah, jokes on them. <laughs> yes, Ali! Yeah! Come on, Ali! I, I would say fewer people congratulated me after the race because everyone genuinely, there was a lot of people that thought I was on drugs or whatever. I've been sleeping in here. I've been trying this out for about three or four, three or four weeks now. So, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. I can't really, I think it does work and I think I'm a good responder, but I need a, a little bit more time to. So what it does is reduce the oxygen level in the air. You've got like, in the current, the current air density is like 20.9% oxygen. And then I reduce it in there to about 14% overnight. By sleeping in there, you have uh, reduced oxygen content in the air. So your body uh, feels the need to pro effectively produce more red blood cells and oxygen. You become more efficient in transporting oxygen because you've got more. And you can raise your hemocrit level. So, you know, I've, I've had mine tested and it's like, in athletes, it's typically quite low. But, you know, the average person is somewhere between 38 and 50. Uh, mine's like 43, naturally. Um, but with that, you can get it up to 40, 46, 47 maybe, 40, 45, 46, 47. So what that represents is a, you know, a 2 or 3% increase in oxygen, um, which 2 or 3% on your threshold is a winter's training, just by sleeping in that. For the future, I think, you know, it's got to be a UCI race next year, a proper one. You know, ride some big stage races, Britain, Yorkshire, hopefully that kind of thing. I'd like to ride some of the classics and do well in the classics. Ideally, that's it, but you know, that's a very long way away.